All right, today we are going to learn about the Pick Collage EDU app. This is a fantastic app that you can have for your iPad to make all these great uh, picture collages that you can use in a whole bunch of other applications, either on your iPad or someone else. Now this app does cost $1.99, but if you are along with a school, you can get uh, over 20 licenses for 99 cents a piece. So that is a great deal. So let's take a look at the app. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And notice that I am in landscape position. This is just the easiest way for me to work. You can also work in portrait position. Uh, this is also available for your iPhone as well. So if you want to use it that way. Now there's a number of different ways that you can start with the app. You can start with either by selecting the photos or by going with a grid, freestyle, or templates. Let's just take a look at each one of these. I'm gonna start with the grid. So if you start with the grid, you can simply start to select the pictures that you have and it'll just start to build the grid for you. You don't even have to try to pick the right one because it just knows how many photos are in there and then therefore you have your grid. Super easy way. You can also choose your ratio of how you want that um, grid to be. So depending on where you're posting this at, you can get all the different ratio sizes uh, to be uh, correct for the uh, different platform. Most likely, if you're just gonna use it in class, the one-to-one -one is just fine, but you can also change that ratio. Uh, let's go into templates and then we'll come back to freestyle. So if you go into templates, it simply is what it is. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of templates in all different subjects, uh, things that you could do that are like instantly done for you uh, of how to do something uh, in Pic Collage EDU. Super easy, everything's all there. You just drop a couple photos in and you look like a master. But if you wanna start from like, quote unquote, a blank piece of paper, I would choose freestyle right in the middle. So essentially, that's exactly what it is. You're getting a blank space to start working. So the first thing it asks us is says, tap anywhere to add a photo. So I'm gonna add a couple photos. You can choose from all your photos or if you have certain um, albums already set up, you can go from there. So I'm just gonna pick these two funny pictures of my sister right here to put in the pic collage. And it automatically put them in just like this, kind of angled them in. But we're not set of handling of keeping it this way. We can simply use our fingers, you know, and how the, to scissor it to uh, zoom uh, in and out, and we can change the angle of where we want them. We can kind of put one on top of the other if we want to. We can kind of resize. I'm gonna make this one quite a bit bigger. And then I'm gonna bring this one here. And on this one, I actually want to make sure that that one is on top. So I'm gonna take this one, I hit that layer button, let me just show you where that's at again in the upper left-hand corner, the layer button. And I want the sit-down picture to be above. Now you can see that this one will take over the top of that. Perfect, now I've got my photos in there. I could choose a layout of a grid if I want to, but I want this to be freestyle. We can go into backgrounds and you can see that you can either have a solid color from all the colors up here, or you get all this fantastic different like scrapbook paper to put in the background. So I'm gonna choose this option and take these polka dot ones. And if you don't have it already downloaded, you just simply hit that download button. And now I can put that polka dot like scrapbook paper in the background. When I'm done, I'm just gonna hit that check mark. From that point, I could add more photos if I want to, if I'm looking across the bottom, but I can also add stickers, all sorts of fun stickers in here. Same thing with, um, with the uh, background pages. You get lots of these different sticker packs if it isn't something that you've already downloaded. So say these hearts, just go ahead and click free download. And now all of them are ready to use. I simply touch it and it puts it on your picture and you can resize it just how you want to have it in there. And you can put as many stickers as you want to. Also across the bottom, notice that you can have text. So I can add a text box in. Okay, so if I do that, I'm getting this, and it took the last font I was in, which was this chalk duster, but lots of cute fonts in here. I'm gonna choose Wave Pool, and that's because I have the T highlighted. I'm gonna go ahead to the Artist Palette and choose a different color. Let's choose pink, because that's her favorite color, and we'll put that right there. 
So you can have all sorts of text. Now, if the regular text doesn't get you, I'm gonna skip over web image for now, and I'm gonna go to the word doodle. You can actually doodle on top of this as well. So instead of having the font, I could just say, my sister. And I'm gonna kind of undo that a little bit because my cursive handwriting kind of stuck on there. So let me try that again. There we go. And if you're satisfied, you got that in there. Remember, once you get something in, you can always resize it, move it as well. So if it isn't what you want it to be, you can actually do that. But if you don't want it at all, you can actually go up to the garbage can. You can have that and go up into the garbage can here. Oops, I'm gonna undo that. And I can undo it again if I really wanted to. Across the bottom here, you can also add web images. And now, um, Pick Collage EDU has a safe uh, Bing search for web images in there. So I am going to search for the word. Um, I'm going to do a heart. And let's go ahead and put that one in. And you can choose as many as you want. And I'm going to go ahead and put that heart in. So you can see the possibilities are endless. And I could keep adding and adding and adding. Now say I'm done with this one. I'm going to go to the word done. And it instantly can save to your uh, camera roll or your photo library, but you can also save it to other places. So if you're app smashing, you can actually choose it other places. So if I hit the three dots more, you can actually put it into all different apps. So like Seesaw and Book Creator and bring it into your Google Drive or other things that are right on your device. So it's just a great, great tool. I'm going to show you a little bit more about this. I'm going to actually start a new project. I'm going to check mark that. I'm just going to go into freestyle one more time. I'm going to go into photos and I'm going to choose this photo of myself this time. And we only have one and we know how many photos we've got selected by the count in the upper right hand corner. So I only want one picture. The reason why I only want one picture is I want to show you what you can do to these pictures as well. Because not only is it you can make a great photo collage, but you can do a lot of great picture editing. So if I'm going to tap on this picture right here, once a little pencil will come up and I'm going to touch that and notice that there's a whole lot of cool things. First one I'm going to show you is cut out. Now, this is great because you can actually make the picture all different shapes that you want to, but you can use scissors and actually use your finger to trace and then just cut out something like that. And look, that's all there is of the picture. So if you ever wanted to kind of get rid of other parts of the picture, this is a fun way to do it. I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna touch on that picture one more time and get to that pencil. And I'm gonna go into the edit function because there are a wealth of different ways that you can edit this photo. Look, we've got filters, cropping, all the brightness, contrast, etc. One that I wanted you to show that's toward the end, a couple of them is the blemish tool. Not that any of us are imperfect, but if you touch that tool and you can pinch in or pinch to get those pictures like that, I can actually get rid of any of those blemishes that are on my face, a couple little dark spots, whatever I want to, get rid of those blemishes. Ooh, boy, I'm looking better than I have in a long time. Get rid of those dark circles under my eyes. And when I'm done, done, and I actually have touched up that photo. One other thing I wanna show you is not only that cool blemish tool, but it's the blur tool. Uh, have you ever had um, photos that have the bokeh effect, that B-O-K-E-H, it's pronounced bokeh. So I can actually do that by hand with this photo. I'm gonna go to the blur, and then I'm going to go into the background here. I'm gonna make my, my, my um, touch size a little bit bigger, and I'm going to zoom in the photo a little bit, and now I'm just simply going to kind of scrub on the photo, and I'm blurring the background. See how that's happening there to give that background blur? Remember, I'm zoomed in so I can zoom out a little bit to get the rest of the photo. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more, get the rest of that background, kind of that blur effect. Hit the word done, 
And now you kind of have that handmade bokeh effect where it has that blurred background and it brings out that four image, foreground image really a lot. And a check mark that. And from that point, I could eat, add backgrounds, other photos, stickers, whatever I want to. And then I can choose the word done. And I could even save it to my library as well again. So as you can see, there is a ton of different things that you can do. You can even go into your previous collages and edit those. So the last two that I just did and a couple more are in there. So if I want to come back to one, I'm like, oh yeah, I want to get back to it. Come in there and we can edit. And now we're right back where we were and able to add more to it. So that is Pick Collage EDU. I hope that you give it a try because there's so many different things that you can do to make this app great in your personal life or your classroom situation.